y'all today we're gonna i'm gonna teach you how to download svgs to your iphone okay so if you're ready go ahead and get your phones out because we do everything through our phones because that's just the easy way to do it uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our app store and we're going to download the app iZip okay so as you see here is two versions of iZip but we only need the free version for what we're about to do okay so if you don't have it go ahead and download it i already have it so i'll just open it okay now there are hard lot of advertisers on here so you have to skip through those okay so this is what iZip file should look like when you download it so let's go ahead and get rid of this now we're going to find a svg to download okay so we're going to use the website ilovesvgs.com okay with this website you're able to find free svgs to cut out um but if you want to use them to sell them commercially you would have to buy a license okay so now we're just gonna kind of like this one drink some coffee but put on some gas um rap gas gangster rap and handle it easy loop train eat poop repeat hmm. don't worry be happy we're just gonna pick one okay so we'll do the gangster rap because it's cute all right so we're gonna click on that once you click on drink some coffee and put on some gangster rap and handle it we will Go all the way to the bottom. Okay, you see it's a for personal use only. And then you see this download. When you see download, click download. Press download. All right, go to the top where you see lovesvg.com. On the in the right hand corner, there's a circle with an arrow pointing down. You're gonna click that. And this is our SVG here. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. Okay, so as you see, I have a million of them. So there's the zip file. If you look, it says ZIP, zip. It says drink some coffee. So I know that's where the drink some coffee SVG is. And I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And then it's gonna give me a folder and I'll click that. All right. So I'm looking for the SVG. The SVG has the squares on it. So do you see where it has the two squares and under it says drink some coffee. We're gonna go ahead and click that. And so it brings up the SVG. In the left-hand corner, there's a box with an arrow pointing up. We're gonna go ahead and click that. And we're gonna look for open in iZip. So we're gonna open in iZip. Again, another advertisement, don't be fooled by that. Go to the top and continue to app in iZip. All right, now when we get here, we're gonna click open in, which is the second option. All right, and once that comes up, you're gonna look for save to files, all right? So we're gonna save it on, on my iPhone, which I already have a million things saved. All right, so let's now go to our Cricut design space, and we're gonna press, just like you would upload any design, but this time we're gonna browse files, okay? So again, remember we're looking for the squares and I saved it a million times because I wanna make sure I have it right. But you see the three SVGs, which you can delete after you upload. So you can have space on your phone. And there it is. And so I'll just save it as coffee. Save. It should, okay. Let's insert it into our design. All right. And now let's go to our layers. Now we have all our layers and we can make whatever, whatever color we want to make. So if you wanted to, you could actually change um, the colors of all the letters. So right here, it just has it where Gangster Rap has a different color. But if we wanted to, we could go to Actions and ungroup it, okay? And then once we ungroup it, we could decide, okay, I want coffee to be a different color. So at that point, once you highlight coffee, you're gonna press edit and then cut. And then you just find what color you want it to be. Look at that, different color. Now I wanna make drink a different color. So I'm gonna ungroup. All right. And I'm just gonna attach drink. So that's actions, attach. So you have to highlight what you wanna attach. 
and then I want to change the color so that I would press edit and then cut and then just pick a color I'm just gonna pick a random color so what if I wanted to change the different letters so because we un, uh, ungrouped it now I can change different letters so technically if I wanted to I could go in and change each letter so you press edit you click the you highlight the letter you want to change the color you just press edit you pick a color and then you just go through edit cut and you just you could change each letter if you wanted to remember if you press attach that they'll all turn into the same color so don't do that all right but you could just simply go through and change each letter on here if you wanted to or change the whole phrase and handle it let's press cut so edit cut it's always it's always in the same spot all right edit cut and then you'll change the color okay so if you wanted to you could just go through and do that for all of it and just have a, a different color um, for each font all right so now when you make it all these are going to show up on different mats matching the colors so you see we have 10 mats so that means we have 10 different colors that we've selected and you would just press print and we will continue i should say and uh cut them out each each and and place it on your cup if you have any questions don't forget to put it in uh your questions in our comment section don't forget to like comment or subscribe uh, everything that i use i will have a link to it in the description box. If you like this video, make sure you watch other videos that I have on my channel, like how to download fonts on your phone, how to splice, um, how to shadow. They're all on this channel, so you maybe you should join our community. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep crafting.